Greetings YouTube, Kevlar Chicken here. Today I have a quick video for you. Now this is the second sword in my collection and now it is officially the most expensive item in my collection. Uh, I will probably not be buying uh, anything else for quite a while because this was quite the expensive purchase for me personally. Uh, however, I would like to quickly talk about uh, this katana. It's called Haru, meaning spring in Japanese. Uh, excuse me for the rough uh, accent, but uh, and it's uh, through hardened uh, 1060 steel because uh, I did I researched a lot on what katana I should buy and although it's not as pretty as the traditionally hardened ones that have the Hamon line, Hamon line generally 1060 is durable enough uh, and hard enough but not to the point where it might be a bit brittle like 1095 and with an acceptable price range. Uh, since I want to bash bottles in my backyard mostly mostly slash them up you know that's uh, what i want to do with it so basically i'll be doing consistent cutting so i don't want something that will just be sitting there and i thought that 1060 is the best in between steel in terms of durability sacrificing a bit of aesthetics for the fruit hardened part now this is just gonna be a quick view and I hope you enjoyed the video despite the random blackouts due to my bad uh, phone positioning, my phone is my camera. But I will make uh, a longer full review video of what I like and dislike about the sword and in the future I will do some uh, more cutting with it. I have already cut with it a bit and it's doing perfectly fine, however I will do a dedicated cutting video. probably. A lot more than one in the future so stay tuned for my full review on the pros and cons of this blade and uh, the dedicated cutting practice videos thank you very much for watching have a great day